This year's AFT 2013 summer season includes three musicals as usual, and we have our world premiere, Windjammers, as well as the return of Musky Love, and Loose Lips Sink Ships. All three are nautically themed, which is kind of fun. Windjammers, it takes place in 1876 on the Great Lakes. It's a three-masted schooner, and the story is really about a captain and a boy. Who is thrust into being a man because his father's dead and he's trying to save the farm. And he goes to work on this ship because this is the only job that might save his farm. He has to grow up really quick. It really is a great story of the transformation of a boy into a man. Then the cat becomes interested in a woman. The woman has her own sort of uh, situation that she needs to, to get help from the captain for. And the captain is brand new to captaining. He's the youngest captain on the Great Lakes. Crusty old Fred. He's the, the first mate, and yet he's been um, passed on to be the captain by a younger fellow. And so you got that dynamic working within, working for someone who's like 33 years old, whatever. He has a little problem with the drinking, but and so maybe that's what's kept him back. He's trying to um, assert himself as, as this, the old way was the best way. And this new captain is the new way, and it's this clash of the old and the new. Uh, and also the boy, he, he resents the boy because he's, he's educated. He reads, unlike my character. So there's a lot of, you know, there's a, there's a lot of mystery about what's going to happen to each of these characters because all of them are presented with circumstances that are new to them. The writers of Windjammers are Robin Sher and Clay Zambo. Robin is from L.A. and Clay is from the East Coast. The very first time they ever met was in working on Windjammers. I'm part of a musical theater writers workshop association in Los Angeles and they reached out to theaters to see if theaters wanted new musicals written specifically for them and uh, American Folklore Theater gave us a, a list of sorts of the ideas and the thoughts that they had and I came, I happened to be a book writer involved in the project and wrote them a bunch of pitches for ideas. I had uh, Robin and Clay come for a visit to AFT because I think it's really important for writers to get a feel for the county of, and, and particularly obviously a feel for AFT. We had sort of specific parameters that that we needed to follow, uh, you know, the length of the show. We could include certain subject matter but we should probably not include other subject matter. All of which was not restrictive so much as it was freeing because now we know who we're writing for. I stood at the back of the theater the, the other night and was watching our preview audience and seeing children. But here they were just sort of scattered throughout an audience. And I thought, some of these kids are seeing their first play tonight and they're going to come back. We're going to give them a good experience and they're going to want to see plays for the rest of their lives. The director of Windjammers is Molly Rohde and Molly has been with the company for uh, a number of years. I think her first season with us was 2007, so um, she knows AFT, and uh, Molly has done a lot of directing in Milwaukee. She's directed for Skylight, she's directed for Chamber Theater. She directed Main Traveled Roads, which she originally was in for us up here, and then she did a production of it for Chamber Theater with, by the way, one of the actresses who is now with us this summer. So there's all this kind of crossbreeding that goes on. Um, Molly is working with Lisa Schlenker, who is the property mistress for Skylight, but she's also a set designer. She designed the set for Main Traveled Roads that Molly directed down there, and she is the designer for Windjammers. So the two of them have a really good relationship, and we knew that we wanted there to be something different and special about the set, because it takes place on a three-masted schooner, and there's no way that anybody, especially AFT with a set that's got to go up and come down every performance, can do a three-masted schooner on stage. So we're, we're definitely taking stylistic and artistic license with how we're going to represent the ship. And I think what Lisa and Molly have come up with is really ingenious. The music is fantastic. This music is so different from what other people have heard at AFT before, and um, it really is great. There's a lot of variety in the music, and I think it's really compelling and beautiful and um, exciting. Um, he, he, there's one section of the show where there's a squall and a storm, and he decided to personify the, the elements with female voices. The storm elements of, of our show are the big movement pieces. We can't have rain pouring down, we can't actually have wind, but we can suggest it. 
and if we do our job, we make you feel like you've been through it. As the lights go down and you, the, the, the story gets a little more serious, it starts off very light and, and it just, it's, it's quite astonishing to be in this place and sort of see the relationship between the beauty of it and the, the story that we're telling.